realistically you were off by seven or eight inches. That's what you were off by. Yeah. And that doesn't sound like a ton, but that's the difference between the deer stopping right there yeah. and the deer running. Um, when he took off and the way he took off, it was really hard. You saw the compression shockwave and to me it looked like it was going to be low because it was like his abdomen disappeared. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, you know. And then when he ran, he did have his tail down, which I mean, we knew he hit, so that didn't matter. But a lot of times when a deer is running away from you, one of the things you can watch for is the tail. If it's down in between his legs and they're more or less running as opposed to bounding, if you will, uh, with their tail up, that normally means that uh, they're hit is when that tail's down and they're running as opposed to bounding with their tail up. And when I saw it, I was like, my heart just sank. Cause yeah. I'm like, no, cause I was sitting with you and I was like, I, I do not want this to be the case for his first year. Right. You know I mean, I was like, no. And, uh, um, and that's, that's kind of what we want to get to now. And we've summarized it a little bit in the actual, uh, trip itself. But when it comes to a gut shot deer, so let's say you just gut shot a deer, what should you do? And the first things first is, um, if you're bow hunting, take a look at your arrow, finding your arrow gives you so much information about where that arrow went through the actual body. Looking at it, if you've got um, you know, food and green bile or black or, um, or even poop or a smear on the actual arrow or it reeks, it smells, it has a bad smell to it, that can be a pretty good indicator that you've made a gut shot. Um, yeah. And a lot of times with an arrow too, I really like light, lighted knocks. When you have that arrow and it goes through and you're pretty sure it was a gut shot, Let's say it's the, um, the morning hunt like we had today. What we did was we let it sit for almost five hours. Uh, yeah. We didn't even try and push it for five hours. Um, even with a, with a rifle shot, we gave it five hours. Uh, we watched where it went. We stayed away from it. We snuck back out and came back in later on. Uh, and we left the woods really quiet. What will happen is almost all, not all, but almost all bucks, does whatever. If you shoot a deer and you gut shot it, and you stay quiet and you don't disrupt anything and you weren't busted completely and they didn't know you were right there. A lot of, time, a lot of times, almost all, they'll run 100 yards or less, find the quickest cover and they'll hide. Um, what happens is when you gut shot a deer, the sensations that they're going through are what you would equate to a big fever, um, very nauseous, uh, very sick. And if you were nauseous, sick with a headache, um, you wanna be in bed, tucked right. up, right? You like wanna, and, it's easy to assume that that's probably the same sensation that they're feeling. So they're gonna go hide. Now what'll probably happen is they'll lay down and die. Uh, whether it's uh, um, their guts leaking into their system and them dying of that intoxication, if you will. Um, septic. Uh, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, septic shock of some sort. Yeah, um, or bleeding out. And if you don't push them and you let them lay down, they'll, they'll just never get up and pass. And then you can go in and find them that way. If you go in too early, you can push them. Now, if it's an afternoon hunt, let's say you do it right before dark, it's so hard to do, especially in an area where we have like coyotes, but your best bet is to leave, leave it put overnight, and then come back the next day. You can't always do that, right? Um, so maybe it's dark and like you gotta work the next day and yeah. you're on state land and this and that. Try to give it at least a couple hours uh, because what's gonna happen is hopefully they'll lay down and, and pass. Um, What'll happen if you don't, if you go early, let's say you, you, you gotta go for it. What you're likely to do is bump the deer. Um, and what the deer will do as a terrified last ditch effort is they will run as far as they possibly can away from you because now they believe they're being pursued. Yeah. They will go as far as they possibly can until they can't go any farther. And a lot of times that's miles. Um, <laughs> that's a lot farther than you wanna go. Yeah, it's, it's and, and when you take into account of like land and boundaries and places where you can go, you know, it very well could go off of where you're able yeah, to. Yeah, it's not very often someone has miles of land for themselves exactly. to like go walk around on. So it's likely if you do bump a injured deer with a gut shot, it's likely gonna go onto someone else's land. Yeah, and then, and then you're dealing with a whole lot of issues there. So we use Onyx to know exactly where we are yeah. um, and then getting all the landowners if you need to go on other land, but letting them sit for that overnight is your best bet. Go out at first light, um, and, but be prepared. Uh, when you go out, have your gun ready. Um, know where your party is, you know, who's with you. Um, and like when we were walking out, I said, okay, if we're, you know, we're in thick brush when we were looking for yours, I said, all right, we're lined up in three and we're all pushing the same direction. No one shoot past 10 or two o'clock right. on either side. 
and we're all pushing in together, all wearing hunter orange, all being safe, so that you know, you, you know you're not firing in a brush there, but being very ready that that deer could get up and you might have to make a quick shot to, to finish him off. Yeah. Um, but that's what you should do if you have a gut shot. Um, don't feel terrible about it. You know, it's not you know, something that happens to everyone. No one makes perfect shots. It's important to be proficient. It's important to practice. It's, it, 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 all those things are very important, but those are also things that, you know, this stuff happens. And just like you, you with your first deer, you know, you're off by seven or eight inches. Yeah. And that's all the difference in the world. Uh, and that can be tough. Thank you for watching this how-to video, which is part of the Greenway Outdoors Outdoor Education Series. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more outdoor education content. Also check out the Greenway Outdoors podcast, huntcast, and official TV show. Visit thegreenwayoutdoors.com for more information.